the sun hung low in the sky as a group of friends stood on the platform of a bustling train station. The anticipation of their upcoming vacation filled the air with excitement. Among them were Emma, the adventurous spirit of the group, Alex, her devoted boyfriend, Sarah, the intellectual, Mark, the jokester, and Lisa, the quiet and reserved one. As they boarded the train bound for a remote mountain cabin, an inexplicable unease settled in the pit of Emma's stomach. She couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. She tried to dismiss it as mere jitters and took her seat by the window just as the train pulled away from the station. A chilling sensation washed over Emma. She watched in horror as a massive tree branch came crashing down onto the tracks. Just ahead of them, the train's brakes screeched in a futile attempt to stop. But it was too late. The impact was catastrophic. Metal crumpled, glass shattered, and screams filled the air as the train derailed. Emma jolted awake in a cold sweat, her heart racing. It had all been a terrible nightmare, or so she thought as she looked around. She realized she was still on the train, but everything seemed eerily familiar. Panic set in as she realized that the nightmare she just experienced mirrored the events that were now unfolding before her eyes. Frantically, Emma screamed at her friends to get off the train, but they couldn't hear her over the chaos, just as in her dream. The massive tree branch crashed onto the tracks. The horrific crash repeated itself with agonizing precision. Emma watched helplessly as her friends, one by one, met grisly fate Sarah impaled by a twisted shard of metal. Mark crushed beneath a collapsing luggage rack, Lisa thrown through a shattered window. Emma and Alex, the only survivors, stumbled out of the wreckage. Their bodies battered and their minds shattered. They couldn't comprehend what had just happened. They had cheated death, but it seemed that death was determined to collect its due. Over the next few days, Emma and Alex tried to make sense of their nightmarish ordeal. They discovered that each of their deceased friends had received warnings premonitions of their impending deaths. Emma couldn't shake the feeling that her initial unease at the train station had been a warning of its own. Desperate to escape the clutches of death, Emma and Alex delved into the mysteries of fate and the supernatural. They sought out experts in the occult and learned of an ancient ritual that could potentially cheat death's grasp once and for all, the ritual required them to confront their deepest fears and make unthinkable sacrifices. As they delve deeper into the ritual, they realized that escaping death was not without consequences. Each step brought them closer to the edge of sanity, and they had to make terrible choices that weighed heavily on their souls. They discovered that fate was relentless and death would stop at nothing to claim them. In the end, Emma and Alex faced a chilling truth that could never truly escape the clutches of death. It was an insatiable force, always lurking in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike their journey to cheat death had brought them to the brink of madness, and they were left with a haunting realization. In the grand scheme of things, they were mere pawns in the hands of a merciless fate. As they stood on the precipice of an unknown abyss, they couldn't help but wonder if their actions had only hastened their inevitable demise. The final destination was inescapable, and they were merely passengers on a nightmarish journey bound by fate's unyielding grip. Emma and Alex's lives had become a never-ending nightmare. They had managed 
to escape one gruesome death scenario, only to find themselves ensnared in a web of equally horrifying events. It was as if death itself was playing a cruel game of cat and mouse with them. Desperate to find a way out, they turned to an enigmatic and reclusive figure named Dr. Everhart, a scholar of the arcane and the occult. Dr. Everhart believed that the key to breaking the cycle of death lay hidden within ancient texts and forbidden knowledge. He led them deep into the heart of the occult world, unveiling secrets darker and more terrifying than they could have ever imagined. The rituals they were forced to perform were unspeakable. Each one took them further down a treacherous path, pushing the boundaries of their morality and sanity. Emma and Alex, once bound by their love, began to drift apart as the horrors they witnessed and the sacrifices they made toward their souls. With every attempt to cheat death, they encountered ever more bizarre and surreal situations. They narrowly escaped a gas leak that turned their cozy apartment into an inferno of flames, only to find themselves trapped in a collapsing tunnel deep underground. They survived a near-fatal car crash but were pursued relentlessly by a phantom driver who seemed hell-bent on running them off the road as they raced against time and the relentless forces of death. Emma and Alex began to piece together a disturbing pattern. It seemed that death itself was not only after them, but also sought to balance the cosmic scales by taking others in their place. They discovered that by eluding death, they had unwittingly become its harbingers, and innocent lives were being claimed in their stead, haunted by guilt and the growing realization that they were powerless against fate. Emma and Alex were driven to the brink of madness. They had to make an impossible decision continue to defy death, condemning others to die in their place, or willingly embrace their own fates and put an end to the cycle of death and suffering. In a final heart-wrenching choice, Emma and Alex decided to confront death head-on. They returned to the train station, the place where their nightmare had begun and face their deepest fears. They stood on the platform, determined to break the cycle. As the train approached, they held hands, their eyes locked in a solemn vow. Time seemed to slow, and they felt death's presence like an icy shroud. But as the train passed them, they remained unharmed. It was as if by accepting their fate, and refusing to play the cruel game any longer, they had broken free from death's grip. As they walked away from the train station, hand in hand, they knew that they could never truly escape death, but they had at least reclaimed their lives. They would carry the scars and the memories of their nightmarish journey forever, a constant reminder that in the face of Deste's cruelty, their love had been their ultimate strength, but as they moved forward, they couldn't help but wonder if somewhere in the shadows, death was biding its time, waiting for the perfect moment to once again seek them out. The final destination remained uncertain, and the specter of death lingered, a relentless force that would forever haunt their lives.